Have you ever wondered how oil and water manage to mix in your salad dressing? Welcome to the world of emulsions. Emulsions are fascinating phenomena that we encounter every day, often without even realizing it. At its core, an emulsion is a mixture of two or more liquids that are normally immiscible or unmixable. Think about it. Oil and water, milk and coffee, butter and bread. These are all examples of emulsions that we experience in our daily lives. But what's truly intriguing is how these immiscible liquids come together to form a stable mixture. This is where the science gets interesting. You see, when these liquids are mixed, tiny droplets of one liquid become dispersed in the other. These droplets are stabilized by an emulsifying agent which acts as a sort of mediator between the two liquids, allowing them to mingle without separating. Now why should you care about emulsions? Well they're not just culinary curiosities. Emulsions play a significant role in a wide range of industries. In the food industry for example, emulsions are vital for creating smooth creamy textures in everything from ice cream to mayonnaise. In the pharmaceutical industry, emulsions are used to deliver drugs in a controlled manner. And in the cosmetic industry, emulsions are key to creating products that feel good on your skin. But emulsions are not just about mixing liquids. They also involve fascinating physicochemical principles like the theory of emulsification and the energy barriers to coalescence. They involve understanding stability factors like creaming, coalescence, and cracking. And they require knowledge of key parameters like the hydrophilic, lipophilic balance value, phase inversion temperature, craft point, and cloud point. So, if you've ever wondered why your salad dressing doesn't separate, or how your favorite lotion achieves that silky smooth texture, you're about to embark on a fascinating journey into the science behind these everyday marvels. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the fascinating world of emulsions. What makes emulsions possible? Let's explore the physicochemical principles behind them. First off, let's talk about surfactants. These surface active agents lower the surface tension between two liquids or a liquid and a solid. Think of them as the peacekeepers of the emulsion world, reducing the tension between oil and water, allowing them to mix into a stable emulsion. Surfactants have a hydrophilic or water-loving head and a hydrophobic or water-fearing tail. The tail is drawn to the oil while the head is attracted to the water. This unique structure allows them to bring together substances that would normally prefer to stay apart. Now let's dive into surface tension. It's the force that keeps a liquid from spreading out and reduces its contact with solid surfaces. In the context of emulsions, surface tension is the main hurdle that surfactants help to overcome. By reducing surface tension, surfactants enable the formation of tiny droplets of one liquid within another, which is essentially what an emulsion is. But how does this process occur? Well, when energy is added to a system, like in the form of shaking or stirring, the surfactants arrange themselves around the newly formed droplets, effectively creating a protective shell that prevents the droplets from merging back together. This is a key factor in the stability of emulsions. Now you might be wondering, what happens if there are no surfactants? Without surfactants, the immiscible liquids would separate due to their differing densities and the high surface tension between them. The lighter liquid would float to the top while the denser one would sink to the bottom. So surfactants play a vital role in preventing this separation and maintaining the stability of the emulsion. Understanding these principles sets the stage for our exploration of the theory of emulsification. So stay tuned as we delve deeper into the fascinating world of emulsions in the upcoming scenes. Now that we understand the basics, what happens during emulsification? And why don't all emulsions mix perfectly? Let's delve into this enigma. Emulsification is an intricate dance between two immiscible liquids, like oil and water, choreographed by an emulsifying agent. It's a process where droplets of one liquid disperse within another, creating a stable homogeneous mixture. But this isn't as straightforward as it sounds. There's a lot of science happening at a microscopic level. Picture a droplet of oil in water. Without an emulsifying agent, this droplet would rather hang out with its oil buddies, eventually merging together, a process we call coalescence. This is where the energy barrier comes into play. It's like a force field that prevents droplets from coming together. The higher the energy barrier, the more stable the emulsion. Now let's talk about film barriers. These are like protective shields around each droplet formed by the emulsifying agent. Their job is to keep the droplets apart, preventing them from merging back together. Think of it like a bouncer at a club, keeping the peace and maintaining order. But what if these droplets still want to cozy up to each other? Here comes steric stabilization to the rescue. 
Steric stabilization is a phenomenon where the emulsifying agent forms a physical barrier around the droplets, creating a sort of no-go zone. This barrier, often made up of long, flexible molecules, physically prevents the droplets from getting too close to each other, further enhancing the stability of the emulsion. So, emulsification isn't just about mixing two liquids together. It's a complex process involving energy barriers, film barriers, and steric stabilization, all working together to create a stable, homogeneous mixture. Without these, we wouldn't have many of the products we use daily, from mayonnaise to lotions. With these concepts in mind, we can now investigate what contributes to the stability of emulsions. So, stay tuned, as we delve deeper into the fascinating world of emulsions. Why do some emulsions stay mixed while others separate over time? Let's explore the factors affecting emulsion stability. Emulsions are a mix of two or more liquids that are usually immiscible. Their stability, or how long they can stay mixed, is influenced by several factors. First, let's discuss creaming. Think of it as the separation of phases in an emulsion. Given enough time, the dispersed phase particles, often lighter, will rise to the surface, forming a concentrated layer. This is creaming, and while it's reversible, it's often the first step towards more irreversible separation processes. Next, we have coalescence. This happens when two droplets of the dispersed phase come together to form a larger droplet. Over time, this can lead to the complete separation of the two phases. The energy barrier to coalescence is what keeps our emulsion stable. The higher the barrier, the more stable the emulsion. Cracking is another phenomenon that affects emulsion stability. It's the complete separation of the two phases in an emulsion, rendering it irreversibly unstable. Now a key player in the game of emulsion stability is the hydrophilic-lipophilic balance or HLB value. It's a measure of the degree to which a surfactant or emulsifier is hydrophilic or lipophilic. The right HLB value can make all the difference between a stable emulsion and one that separates. Phase inversion temperature, craft point, and cloud point also come into play. Phase inversion temperature is the temperature at which an emulsion changes from oil and water to water and oil, or vice versa. The craft point is the temperature below which an emulsion becomes unstable. And the cloud point? That's the temperature at which an emulsion becomes cloudy due to the precipitation of the surfactant. As we've seen, there's a delicate balance of factors that make a stable emulsion. Understanding these principles can help us predict and control the behavior of emulsions in various applications, from food and beverages to cosmetics and pharmaceuticals. So, the next time you're sipping on a latte or applying lotion, remember the complex science that's keeping those tiny droplets in suspension. And that's the beauty of emulsion stability. We've learned quite a bit about emulsions today, haven't we? Let's recap. We started our journey by defining emulsions as a mixture of two immiscible liquids where one liquid is dispersed in the other. They're not just oil and water, but a fascinating world of science and technology. Then we dove into the physico-chemical principles that govern emulsions. We discovered that surface tension plays a pivotal role in forming the interface between the two liquids, and the role of surfactants in reducing this tension, aiding the formation of an emulsion. Next we explored the theory of emulsification and the energy barriers to coalescence. We learned that emulsification is the process of breaking down large droplets into smaller ones, and that energy input is necessary to overcome the barriers that prevent the droplets from merging back together. We also touched on the concept of film barriers and steric stabilization, which add another layer of complexity to the stability of emulsions. Speaking of stability, we delved into the factors that can cause emulsions to break down, including creaming, coalescence, and cracking. We discussed how the hydrophilic-lipophilic balance value and the phase inversion temperature can be useful tools in predicting and controlling the stability of an emulsion. And finally, we discussed the craft point and the cloud point, two critical temperatures that can affect the behavior and stability of an emulsion. We learned that these points are influenced by the type of surfactant and the concentration of the dispersed phase. So there we have it a whirlwind tour of the fascinating world of emulsions. It's a complex topic, but hopefully, we've been able to demystify it a bit and highlight its relevance in our daily lives. Emulsions are everywhere around us, and understanding them can help us appreciate the science in our everyday lives. Subscribe for more because you won't find me later.